A team of scientists in South Africa said on Thursday they've discovered the first evidence of a comet entering Earth's atmosphere. Professor David Block, part of the team of scientists, unveiled the findings of the first documented case of a comet ever striking Earth at Witts University in Johannesburg. A black diamond-bearing pebble found years earlier by an Egyptian geologist is at the heart of the research, with scientists saying this represents the very first known hand specimen of a comet nucleus, and not a meteor as originally thought. We discovered that this was not a meteor, in other words a chunk of rock which entered the Earth's atmosphere and uh, burnt up, but this was actually a comet from the very depths of outer space and of outer time which had entered the Earth's atmosphere and exploded. This, allow me to state, is the first documented case of a comet ever striking our planet Earth. Scientists calculate the comet entered the Earth's atmosphere above Egypt some 28 million years ago. As it entered the atmosphere, it exploded, heating up the sand and resulting in a vast amount of silica glass, which lies scattered over some 6,000 kilometer area in the Sahara. The black pebble was found among these shards of silica. One example of the silica glass was polished by ancient jewelers and placed in Tutankhamun's brooch in the shape of a yellow scarab. They are exceedingly rare events and that's why we are so excited to hold the piece of a comet in our hands because comets normally never enter our neighborhood. Yes, we can see them in the sky with their glowing tails and fiery heads, but they never enter our Earth's atmosphere, except for this one. Space agencies have spent billions to secure the smallest amounts of pristine comet matter, but scientists say this could represent a radical and cheaper way of studying the material. Block added that the team believed the fragment could unlock some of the secrets to understanding the universe. The research is due to be published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters in November.